Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory, Abba Father. You know, so many people will come for me. As in, they will even come for you. For saying this, you understand. Sometimes you call out what is not right. For you calling out what is not right, it takes a lot of boldness. Even in the church, in the ministry, in wherever, in the place of your job, in the family meetings, among your friends, you know, it takes a lot of boldness. When you know that, when you call out what is right, there are so many people who will not see it as the right thing to do. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. The competition, the competition that is going on among believers, it is not healthy. It is something that we need to speak about. It is not healthy at all. It is not healthy about it at all. I know many will come for me for saying this. I evangelist said, why will you say this? You know, but the truth is this. God is able to bless everyone. God is able to multiply everyone. Because his word says in the book of Genesis, go ye and multiply, replenish. When we talk about this multiplication and replenishment, it is not just about carrying a child in the womb and producing a child. No, reproduction, that is not the thing that is hard to do about. When God said it is not good for a man to be alone, it was not just talking about couple. It means that it is not good for us to dwell in isolation. Do you understand? Though couple is included, that is not good for a man to be alone. Yes, God gave, created a woman. God created a woman and a man. Even when it comes to couples aspect of it. He didn't create woman, woman, man and man. No, in the aspect of couple area. Though many people would come for me for saying this. Hallelujah. The competition. If you have the opportunity to speak out. Because why this word, God had me to address it is because. Many of us are forgetting the purpose where we are being called. The purpose where we are being called is to depopulate the kingdom of darkness and to populate the kingdom of God. So when people fall into competition, they will forget about salvation. So they will forget to talk about salvation. They will talk, forget to talk about sin. They will forget to talk about what is right and what is wrong because they want to keep people in their circle. They don't want to lose anyone. They want to keep them in their circle. So you will find a world of entertainment alone in the, in, 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 among the children of God. It is not supposed to be so. You are hearing me right now. You are standing for what is right. But they come for you. It is okay, stand for what is right. In the place of your job, you are standing for what is right. They come for you because you stand for what is right. In the ministry, you are standing for what is right. They come for you because you are standing for what is right. Stand for what is right. The spirit of competition, it needs to die. It needs to die. So when you stand for what is right, it means that you are preaching what is right. It does not matter if you have a platform, if you have a church, if you have a social media, if you don't have all you have where you preach the gospel. But where you are there, because you are standing for what is right, you are preaching the gospel already. Christians are supposed to be fighting against the kingdom of darkness, bringing people to the kingdom of God, not fighting over unnecessary and unhealthy things. I thank the Lord. Every spirit of competition, if you want to rise in me, Lord, help me to kill it. Because we are human beings, we can fall into these things. 
we are human beings. We can fall into it. So it is very important that we are cautious and we pray about it and we pray against it. That we should not be a part of it. I know people will come against me. Why did you say that God created a woman and man as couple? It's what the Bible taught us. So there is no way you want me to paint it because maybe it is what somebody that you love is doing or what you are doing. No, I cannot paint it. I cannot paint it. If it is what you are doing, you can ask the Lord for mercy because God does not condemn you. He wants you to be corrected. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Many will always call for you for saying the truth. Child of God, keep speaking what is right. We need to speak out so that other believers who have become a victim of it can find their track back and they can examine themselves and live a right, just life again. That is why we are called, so that no one will go missing on the last day. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.